What is up, bros? You are watching Brew News, your number one source in world news. When we had left off last broadcast, the Polish-Lithuanian Empire was invaded by the Soviet Union. Normally, you would think, okay, the Soviet Union is going to steamroll the, uh, the Poles, but not this time because Poland, as you may already know, is a member of the Axis faction, which now includes Spain, Germany, Italy, Hungary, Poland, and, um, who is this? Independent states of Croatia. Having allies is good most of the time, but then sometimes your allies do stupid shit like this. They drop a battle plan that starts at Tartu. Goes all the way across the front line. All the way down to Odessa. Why? What sense does that make? Nobody knows. We are now underway. I would expect the Axis troops to not perform very well. I mean, they, they, they have some massive diarrhea. Or, I mean, are you going to fight to your greatest potential right after having eaten McDonald's and having a massive diarrhea attack? I doubt it. We are now getting a flow of Spanish troops to the front. Let's see if this makes the difference. Okay, whose battle plan is this? It has to be... I think it's the... Okay, they switched it. Very, very good. It had to be the Italians. That seemed like an Italian battle plan to me. Oh, look at the southern flank, though. The Spanish came in and just started wrecking. I guess it's pretty easy when the Soviets have absolutely no troops here. We've got the winged Hussar Polish division closing in on Leningrad. And they said that the winged Hussars were outdated for World War II and Panzer Warfare. Ha! The winged Hussars laugh at you and Leningrad is surrounded. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Like fighting and dying together on the Eastern Front isn't close enough. Oh, here, the, they came back with their master plan except, oh, no, they decided that wasn't a good idea. Check out the Hungarians taking out the Crimea. Just when you thought the planning could not get any better, they come up with this master plan. You start down here near the Crimea and drive straight north until you reach whatever the hell this lake is. Lake Karjala. Nailed it. Trotsky has survived an assassination attempt. Whoever, who would have done that? The British have now landed in northern Germany. I would have to think that the Germans are not going to take that lightly. Look at what the Italians, Hungarians, and uh, I think that's about it, have done to the southern front. Absolutely wrecked the Soviets. We are driving on Moscow. The winged hussars are still struggling. Actually, it looks like the fall of Leningrad is imminent. Here it comes. The wi- Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, great. What? Bro, why? Italians declare on Greece. Greece joins the Allies. But look at this. Breaking news here at Brew News. Leningrad has fallen to the winged hussars. The Greek invasion of Polish territory just did not work out the way the Greeks had anticipated or the free French troops and thrown a Canadian and, and an Australian. We are getting breaking news in here at Brew News. The Winged Hussar Division along with their Panzer and Mountain Bros are just about to capture Moscow. I repeat the fall of Moscow is imminent. Boom! There it goes. Poland has just taken Moscow. And here is what we are looking at now. We are just, I'm getting word, we are just getting in some statistics from the front. 2.4 million losses, almost 3 million. As you can see, the Axis are winning this one. 
Breaking news in here on Brew News. Albania has just joined the Allies. I can't imagine this ending well for Albania. The Greeks are still taking a beating. The Soviet Union... Not looking so... Soviet right now. Or Union-y. Other Polish troops are driving on Stalingrad. As you can see, the Polish army is the major players in this war. Everybody else is just there for support. This just in, we are getting breaking news in here to brew news that Stalingrad has been surrounded and is about to fall to the... Boom! I don't care what you see right there. It was not a Hungarian unit that did that. It was a Polish unit that did that. Updated statistics from the front. As I mentioned, I knew this was going to happen. I said they would throw it on a million. And in fact, they have. The Soviet Union is now at 86% towards capitulation. No landings from the British. Looks like the Italians and Germans pretty much have this locked down. We are getting word in that China has just been puppeted by the Japanese. This war had better wrap up quickly because the Polish units are quickly running out of material. They are also running out of manpower. Even though the Soviet Union is getting its ass handed to it, it still finds time to annex Kanutuva. Brilliant move. Axis troops are just about to reach the Urals, which leaves the Soviet Union at 95% towards capitulation, with 1.5 million losses more between the commenter and the allies. The Greeks are putting up one hell of a fight. Not much land has been gained here, although it looks like Albania is just about to fall. And Hungarians have busted through the Soviet lines and are heading south against little to no resistance. We are getting breaking news in here to Brew News. The Soviet Union is 99% towards capitulation. The end of this war could be occurring at any moment now. They have lost 4.35 million troops. Boom! There it is, bros. The Soviet Union has now capitulated. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, this reporter can only say that it looks like Hungary got completely screwed. All that territory they had gained, and now they end up right back where they were. Poland, on the other hand, beautiful borders, nice and neat. We are getting breaking news in here to brew news. Denmark has just joined the Allies. Probably not a wise move for them. I can see this ending up bad. Boom! Albania has just capitulated. Breaking news. That's going to just about spell the end for any resistance. This just in. Germany and Poland have launched a combined attack into the territory of Denmark. We just got in a ton of updated news, bros. First off, Greece has capitulated a boom. But more so, the Empire of Japan joins the Axis. Just when the Allies probably thought it couldn't get worse, it in fact does. With the addition of the... Boom! Denmark has capitulated with the addition of Japan to the Axis forces. That brings their filled manpower to 8.3 million. While the Allies can only field 1.54 million. This just in breaking news in here to Brew News. Portugal has joined the Allies. Why in the hell would they do... Look at this. Look at this. Manpower. British Malaya has capitulated. Let's check out what the Japanese have going on. We haven't really paid attention to them 
Look at that Axis controlled landmass. German Reich formalizes anti Soviet pact a year after they were defeated. British Parliament debates intervention in Bilox. Debates intervention. We are getting breaking news in from Sweden. The Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth has launched an attack into Sweden. This reporter can only guess for their resources. What other reason would they have to invade Sweden? Such a peaceful, nice Nordic country. We are getting in substantial news here at the Brew News News Desk. The United States has joined the Allies. Builded manpower is still way off. You will not be able to stand against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Look, take Sweden for instance. It did not stand a chance. Breaking news into the news desk just moments ago. Sweden has officially capitulated. Is there no stopping the Polish-Lithuanian Empire? We have a big news coming out of Asia. The British Raj has now capitulated. Looking at the Axis faction now. now the fall of Manila. Look at the Axis faction. Now look at that landmass. We are getting breaking news in from Norway where the Polish-Lithuanian army has just declared war and is already halfway through their territory. Boom! Portugal has capitulated. Boom! Norway has capitulated. Not only that, but the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth has put together a new army. Consisting of nothing but winged hussars. Breaking news from the Asian front. The Philippines has now capitulated. Look at this manpower that the Axis are building. It's, it's absolutely insane. Look at this. God help the Allies. Oh my god, this is insane news. The Japanese have already captured Pearl Harbor. This just in to the news desk. More sombering news. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth has now de- Iceland joins Axis? This is shocking even to this veteran news reporter to see Iceland join the Axis powers. Shocking moment in world history. Oh, we've got the German Reich landing in Ireland. Nice. You know what that means. England is just a, a stone's throw away. Boom! Ireland has capitulated. I would expect to see a, I would expect to see a lot more of this. This just in Finland has capitulated. They lasted all of a couple days. We are getting breaking news in from Australia, the fall of New South Wales. What is the Japanese up to? They could be almost as ferocious as uh, the Polish army, except they don't got cool ass winged hussars, so screw them. We are getting breaking news coming out of Turkey. A two pronged attack has been launched. On the east side, the Germans. On the west side, the Polish army, along with now what appears to be some Germans, some Hungarian troops. Um, so some Spanish, um, Italians. So everybody trying to come in here and take the Polish glory away from them. Boom! Turkey has just capitulated. I have never seen the Axis so strong in all my life. Or should I say, since I've never seen the Axis before... I've never seen an alliance of nations so ferocious in all my life. This just in to the news desk. New Zealand has capitulated. Also, Axis forces have launched a new attack into Iraq. Boom! Big news out of the Pacific for the Axis powers. Japan has just got Australia to capitulate. 
One can only imagine that the next step for Japan could only be the ally powers of North America. This just in to the news desk. Iraq has officially capitulated, opening up the way to the rest of the Middle East and all their oil reserves. Getting breaking news in here at Brew News. The Axis invasion of Britain is underway as we speak. Italy has landed in two spots and is attempting a third. However, it doesn't look too good for them, especially here. And probably not here either. However, and I've told you this before, this news reporter knows this for sure. Axis bros stick together. So Poland is sending in three armies to help them out here. And uh, another... Two armies up here to uh, distract the British so the Italians can get a foothold. That's what bros do. And the Poles have landed to attempt to help out their bros. I don't know if there is any hope for these bros down here though. These Italian bros could be as good as, as good as dead. The Italians have landed in a third spot with backup from Poland coming in. The Italian and Polish forces have linked up, but London is still yet to fall. Polish and Italian forces up here have not yet linked up though. Right now, Britain is being carved up between Polish and Italian troops, and I think London, London is going to fall soon. You may be asking yourself, if bros stick together, where is the Spanish, the Germans, the Hungarians? Well, this reporter is here to answer that question. They are in Africa. Getting territory for the Polish Lithuanian Empire and also taking back the territory of Italy's. Risking your own life just to give your bro some territory. The United States is justifying against Poland. Boom! The fall of London bros. The United Kingdom has capitulated. There doesn't appear to be much action right now. I think they are in a planning phase for the final thrust on the Allied powers, which is basically Canada the U.S. Axis bros are wrecking through Africa right now as we speak. Japan has pretty much taken control of every Pacific island. I am guessing that when we return, all these battle plan invasions you see right here are going to be headed right here. And I can almost guarantee that the glorious Polish army will be leading the charge to take out the last of the Allied powers. Some statistics before we end this broadcast. The Axis have lost 21 million. The Allies have lost 24 million. Builded manpower 17 million to 5 million. With that bros, I'm going to be wrapping up this segment of Brew News. We will see you on the other side of the commercial break. If you're enjoying this broadcast... Hit the like and subscribe. Slap the notification bell. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Brew News out.